Hi lovelies, welcome back once again to VBest Kitchen and I believe you're all doing great. Today let's make tolo beefy or cured beef for our stews and soups. It's so quick and easy to make and as a Ghanaian you can attest to it that this cured beef or tolo beefy brings a lot of flavor to our stews, our soups, to our rice. Being it fried rice, braised rice or oil rice or amamon or jollof rice lovelies let me show you how i make mine at home and i hope you'll be inspired and i'm showing you two ways of making it okay so without further ado lovelies let's begin here i have my wall cleaned and padded dry lump next i'll proceed to introduce you to my amazing seasonings and here i have my bay leaf black peppercorns star anise seeds green cardamom pulse cloves and green of ceiling i've also got red onion next i'm pan roasting the seasonings for them to release their flavors for about two minutes mm, what an amazing aroma two minutes later our seasonings are ready check this out this shows our seasonings are ready so i will let them cool down whilst i attend to my meat and cut them into any shape and size of my choice this time around i'm not going to cut them into smaller smaller pieces not too small but somewhere in between medium and big and not too big also okay so as to how you want the size of the meat is all by choice and preference okay lovely stay tuned for the end and be inspired and please don't forget to like, share, comment on the video. And hey, if it's your first time stumbling on this channel, you are warmly welcome. Kindly do me a favor by subscribing to this channel to enjoy more of my recipes. Don't forget to also smash on the bell button to receive updates from me whenever I upload new videos. All done now and I love the size. So in two different bowls, I'm putting the pieces of lamb. Just like so. So next, lovelies, I'll then go ahead and bring my seasonings and grind them. Not to be too smooth, but at least I'm crushing them a little bit. Just like so. Hmm, so aromatic. I'm all done. So I'm going to have to add salt to the lamp. You can use the rocky salt. But at the moment, this is the salt I have at my disposal. So I'm adding some of the seasonings to each of the lamb in the bowl and now i'm adding a little bit of lime juice to each of the lamb and now i'm adding water next to the first bowl i'm adding a little bit of red food coloring and now onion to each of the lamb in the bowls okay so now i'm using my spoon to mix everything together until well combined so that's it beautiful so next, I'm going to also mix this one together. Initially, I was going to just leave it like that without any water, but I added water in the long round. So it's two ways. You can either add water or opt the water pad, and it's still going to be fine because sometimes that's how I do it. I can use both methods and I'm good to go. Yeah. So now I'm covering them up with my cling foam, just like so. And after that, I'll just let them sit for two days at least three days is fine for the lamp to absorb all the seasonings and the salt okay while the salt also preserve the lamp so we are back after three days and i've already taken off the length form and here we are our first method looking already nice and beautiful check this out mm, what a punch lovelies because I roasted the seasonings, oh, you need to be here. They smell and taste so, so, so good. You will love this recipe. Now you can go ahead and add more salt for the salt to pull all the excess moisture from the lamp. And it will also help preserve the lamp for a longer period of time. Especially if you're not going to keep this in the freezer. Okay, so that's it. I'm all done making my homemade cured beef or tolo beefy using these two simple and easy methods. And I'm so sure you've been inspired. 
You can use any of them and you will love the results. I'm so impressed and I can't thank you enough for your time. For more of my videos, lovelies, follow me on Instagram, like and follow my Facebook page. Follow me as well on TikTok and Twitter for more updates. And now I'm transferring everything into my Ziploc bag, just like so. And after that, keep them in my freezer for my stews and soups. You can as well preserve them in any clean and dry container and keep them also in a cool and dry place in your cabinet and you'll be good to go. Lovely, thanks for watching. See you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, be good, take care and enjoy. I love you all. Kiss. Bye, y'all.